You know I'm covering for Sarah. I was trying to access some patient notes, but I, I don't know her computer password. I couldn't call from work. It's about Reuben. It, it took me a while to twig, but I think he's poaching your patient files. She screwed me over, well and truly. And not just professionally. If you mean Lauren. I do. Considering what she deserves, taking a few patients off her is nothing. Don't you think? This one's 5.20, but it's got a deck with a built-in barbecue. Oh, I could go a barbie. Found that I could do a burger. Brody, you just had lunch. Oh, yeah. I'll need a coffee, then. Is sugar good for you? No, no, I'm not spending my money. I'm saving it for rent and bond. Hey, so, you up for a coffee? No. What's up? I just met with the head of journalism and he's making me do two catch-up assignments in the holidays. Man, those guys have got no life, so they reckon no one else should either. At least he didn't make you repeat your whole first year. Exactly. He's given you a break, which I suggest you make the most of. Uh, sitting in front of my computer for the whole holidays. Some break. Yeah, right on. If you're gonna work that hard, you might as well get paid for it. And how do I do that? Well, just ditch the course. Get a job at one of the newspapers. You've got the skills for it. She's been down that road and disastrous doesn't even cover it. The lesson here is that no employer will take you seriously without the right qualifications. But if you get a job first and then show your willing, chances are they'll pay for you to study. Thank you, but my daughter doesn't need advice from the likes of you. Oh, don't shoot me for caring. Sophie is going to complete her degree through hard work. No shortcuts, no excuses, and certainly no cheating. We'll give you some quiet to get started, eh, Soph? Come on, let's go check out that flat. Well, maybe I should come with you, give you a girl's opinion. And maybe you can stay here and crack on with your assignments. I can manage my own time, Dad. And no time like the present. I shall be here all afternoon if you want to bat some ideas around, Sophie. Man, who needs a head honcho at Tech to crack the whip when you got your old man to do it for you? It comes down to money. No GP is going to take the salary that we're offering. I know one who will. On a part-time basis, if you think he's up to it. Who? I've tried everyone. <laughs> I hate to break this to you, but you're a full-time ED doctor. Ah, you can juggle this shift to fit in a few hours a day as a GP. No, it's too much to ask. We agreed you'd be a silent partner. Things have changed since then. Yeah, I know. And the fact is we've both invested a lot in this business. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Sort out a uh, schedule later, then. Yeah. Daddy. Hey. I didn't expect to see you, but I'm really glad you're here. Well, don't get too excited. I'm not over what you did. No, but we can talk about it. No, I'm not here to talk. Look, it's just there's something you should know. You gonna get that? Yeah, I'd better. Sir so, Pot speaking. Hi. No, I can't. Um, there's someone here. Can I call you back? Yeah, what's your number there? Yep. OK. Yep, we'll talk soon. Bye. How's Lauren? 0044, that's the UK, right? Nice to know if some things don't change, eh, Sarah? No, please don't go. Daniel, you were going to tell me something. Forget it. Mr. Lee, Ward 7, left that under his pillow. His wife's coming in to get it. Hey, Trace. Hi, you're back. Started today. How's it been with Scotty? I suppose you're getting full on attitude over Helga. Actually, no. Ever since you and I owned up, Scotty's been really great. But look, I've got a. Lucky you. I feel like I'm being watched every which way I turn. I'm sure you're not. But look, I've got to run. I got stuck at the bank. I was late back. Like it matters. Sleep with a big boss, you get away with anything. Is that what people think? Sorry, I'm late. I got stuck at the bank. I had to stop. Hey, no problem, no problem. Um, Mr. Zell, cubicle three, acute hypertension. Can you set up an ECG for me? Sure. I'll make up the time on my break. Hey, it's a few minutes to worry about it. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Um, I was wondering, do you know how Lauren is? I haven't seen her since... Since she got rid of my kid. 
I've tried calling and texting and I'm getting a bit worried. Oh, she's fine. She's in the UK. Since when? Well, since she decided to do a runner, did she, bro? Except Sarah, of course, they're best buddies. I'm sorry about how this has all turned out. Look, stop it. There's a job going in Indonesia and I'm gonna take it. Indonesia? Isn't that like Muslim? No booze allowed, man. <laughs> now that's only if you're an actual Muslim. What about your IT degree? I thought that... Well, I'll learn all I need on the job and I'll get paid for it. See, that's what I'm talking about. They pay, you learn, right? It sounds pretty drastic to me. Well, I've got to do something. This place is doing my head in. He's on the money, that dude. Brody, I'm not quitting my course. Why not? What are you scared of? Being an uneducated loser. I think you're scared of growing up. Not being daddy's little girl anymore. I mean, why else would you marry a guy who's, what, 10, 12 years older than you? Oh, please, enough with the level one psych. Fine. I won't even talk about what you're wearing. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Nothing. If you're 13. Excuse me, I like how I look. Yeah, and I bet Karen loved it too. <laughs> and I suppose you've got some makeover suggestions for me? Well, it depends. On? How much you really want to leave the past behind? Mike, can you do this patient transfer? I'm just about to finish off. Sure. Are you ready to go? Five minutes. Are you OK? Why wouldn't I be? Oh, TK said you seemed, I don't know, not your usual self this afternoon. I'm fine. I've just been busy. You sure that's all it is? Yes. Other nurses were busy too. Why don't you ask them? OK, just checking. Maya, do you have any gaps in tonight's roster? One space. I've been on to the bureau. Oh, look. You've just come off an ED shift. I'll go home, we'll grab a few hours, and then I'll come back. I really need the money. As long as you're not pushing yourself too hard. I am truly OK and truly broke. Happy to have you, then. Wow. What's with the new style, Sarf? Nothing. Just felt like it. Right, and they sell that lot at the tech library, do they? I needed a break, okay? Don't start with me. <laughs> yeah, and you choose to go with the new look, so get into it. Look, can you turn that down? We've got neighbours to think about. Hello? We'll go to Hunter's room. We use the dual headphones. Sounds good to me. Sophie, you don't even like that kind of music. Neanderthal headbanging, you call it? Just keeping an open mind, Dad. Thanks. Bye. Damn it. What's up? Uh, Ruben's meant to be working tomorrow afternoon, but now he can't. Some family thing. Um, there's no one to cover the GP practice. Well, so close for a few hours. What's the big deal? Uh, patients are relying on us, and not just that, we can't afford it. Um, we're barely making ends meet as it is. Where are you going? And to work to check the roster and make a few calls. Someone's bound to want to know it off. Oh, so what? You'll work an ED shift all night, then tomorrow you'll work a shift at the GP clinic. You're dropping your tracks. I'll call Ruben, see if we can't work something out. Well, can't Mum do a shift at the GP clinic? Her hand's not that bad. Well, unlike you, mate, um, I don't want to make her life tougher than it already is. Whatever I can do to help, I'm doing it. 